This is a short public service announcement. I'm trying to do you a favour, so listen up. I heard a young lass on Twitter today talking about how depressed and miserable she was. She hates her job, she hates her life, she can't get a boyfriend. Women are depressed. Two out of three with depression say they're at the breaking point. Depression is more prevalent in women. Most women are unhappy with how society treats them. Unhappy. Most women are unhappy. In the decades between 1970 and 2005, look how much lower the well-being index is and women's self-reported happiness scores have declined in the absolute and relative to men. You are struggling, ladies. Allow me to help you out. The reason you're struggling is because the sexual revolution has been an abject failure. Going to work is a bit shit. You know what is good? You know what women do enjoy? Looking after the kids. Going for a walk with a pushing a pram round a park. Taking a stroll with the kids and a dog. Whilst occasionally pressing buttons on the washing machine. And possibly pushing a mop round the kitchen. Feminism is a scam. It's a scam. Everything that's happened in the last 20 years has benefited men. In the old days, men were worrying about getting women pregnant. Now, what do they do? Well, they just go and get quick abortion. Quick abortion, there's, there's nothing wrong with getting an abortion. Blokes are breathing a sigh of relief. They used to go, bloody hell, this'll cost me a fortune. Now they go, cheers, love. Go and get your minge vacuumed and we'll all be laughing all the way to the bank. And then when you get back, you can smoke me poor once again. And have you seen how women dress nowadays? I was in the gym the other day, trying to do 10,000 meters on the rowing machine. And some girl wearing skin colored yoga pants and a vanishingly small boob tube proceeded to start doing some weird yoga crab thing about four feet away from me. By the end of it, she basically had a fanny lips about two inches away from my nose while I'm trying to work out. Now, who does that benefit? Granted, it's hard to row 10,000 meters when you've got a stalk on, but I'm gonna suggest that maybe it was a bit better when women used to dress modestly, go to the gym looking like blokes in shorts and a t-shirt, and not cavort around the gym, sticking the cherry red nipples in everybody's face. So ask yourselves a simple question. Look at the data. Are you happier or are you miserable? Men are booking you and you're aborting the babies, so they're dodging a bullet. You're working your asses off. You can't get fixed up. You're all popping pills, getting pissed, doing the same medications that men are doing, but you're not getting any of the rewards. Feminism has been an abject failure. If you want to be happy, be a trad wife. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> if you want to work, go and do some work. Of course, I'm, I'm not advocating a return to the 1950s, but step back. Take a deep breath and ask yourself whether or not the last 25 years have been better or worse for women. Because I'll tell you something now. 1995 seems like a glorious sunlit upland for women's rights and women's choices and women's happiness than this festering shit pit we currently inhabit now. All right, I'll see you all on Monday. Cheers.